Leslie, do you mind just telling me a story, you and me? Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. Shane Bryant, this year marks the 40th anniversary of your big screen debut with Hammer Films. Your first role was as Emile in Demons of the Mind. Tell me about this character. What was he like? Yes, Emile had uh, very, very serious mental problems. Deeply psychotic. He acted out his father's fantasies through an empathic relationship he had with his dad. And um, he just couldn't help doing... Uh, what came into his mind. He was driven by his father's fantasies. Um, um, I felt very sorry for him, and I tried to uh, make the audience feel for him, though at the same time you have to remember that he was going out and killing people, but he really didn't know what he was doing. He loved his sister very much. Nowadays he would have been put in a loony bin and left there, I suppose. Someone similar and yet different came in your next role as Peter in Straight On Till Morning. Again, I seem to be groomed by Hammer to play um, demented individuals uh, with, again, a very severe mental problems. There's no doubt that, that Peter was needed serious help. Um, he wasn't just a, he wasn't a killer. He couldn't help himself. He blamed himself uh, for being too attractive. He uh, loved him for being too attractive. And... Uh, that's what uh, that's what upset him, but quite why this translated into this terrible anger that forced him to murder all these women is odd. What I did find odd was at the end, uh, when eventually he found someone who loved him for the person that he was, which was Rita playing um, the other character. Uh, why he he chose to kill her and the baby too. Um, I found this rather odd, although it's not stated that he did so. I would say that he did, and he found him a frightening person, and therefore he couldn't live with her anymore. He felt a bit betrayed, I think. So that's why he did it. Again, he would have been locked up straight away, and uh, I doubt whether he would have got out again. By contrast, your next major role for Hammer was as Simon Helder in Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Your first good guy role? Yes, playing Simon Helder was a real change for me. Basically a very normal young man, a very gifted physician, great respect for Frankenstein, and I think he found what Frankenstein was doing was a, was a bit confronting, yet at the same time he was drawn so much to it because of the experimental um, challenges. Nowadays, he probably would have been putting monsters together with the aid of genetics. I think he would have been very much intrigued by that. The last couple of years has seen a spectacular revival of Hammer, with films like The Woman in Black. Do you think these films represent a new direction for Hammer, or what dark avenues do you think the revived company should explore? Yes, I've noticed that, um, that Hammer seems to be going away from gothic horror, almost as if they believe that uh, gothic horror films have had their day. I'm not sure that this is the case. Uh, I would think that because the word hammer seems to suggest gothic horror, and that's how they made their name and their money, I think it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit crazy to, to ignore that, that genre of film. Uh, I would certainly like to make more gothic horror mo movies, and I think a lot of people around the world rather expected Hammer to do more of that, because after all, that's what Hammer films are all about. I know, Mother. I know. 